Welcome back guys to Valora Rochelle. And in this video, we're gonna be making waist bead design number eight. And this is what it looks like. So now we have another double stranded waist bead. See that? I have my cheat sheet and my supplies. Let's get started. So as a personal preference, I choose to use fishing line for all of my waist beads. And the next thing you want to do is you want to measure yourself um, to determine exactly where you want your waist beads to lay. So whether you want them up high or towards the middle or a little bit down below, you want to go ahead and measure yourself. And then you want to add about six to eight inches just to give you some more slack when you're um, to secure your beads. Okay, and I'm back and I have my fishing line. So I have two of them and I have my barrel clasp attached. Please check out waist bead design number six because I actually show you how I attach when I'm using two. Okay, so this is again what we're gonna be making today. Okay, so for this pattern, we're going to start off with this large round bead. It's pink. Um, some of them have hints of blue, well, it's pink and white, but some of them have hints of like a bluish purple hue to it. Okay, so once you uh, put your round bead on to both of your uh, strings, thread, or your lines that you're going to be using, then you're going to split it and separate it. And then you can see the pattern. So I'm using solid white and solid pink for my in between, for my, I would say my smaller beads in between my large round bead, okay? So on one line, I am gonna do four white, four pink, one white, one pink, one white, and then back to four pink and four white, okay? And then on this one, you see I do the same thing, but I alternate the colors. So that's four pink, four white, one pink, one white, one pink, four white, four pink. So that's all you do, you just alternate, okay? Okay, so we're using this type of barrel clasp that has some of the string hanging out. So let's go ahead and just make a few, you know, do a few patterns and then we can tuck this and hide it away. Okay, because it's so loose, the beads are just going to be flopping around. All right, so we're going to take our line number one and let's get started. Four pink, four white, okay, one pink, one white, back to pink. Now we're going to do four white. and four pink. There we go. Now, do the same pattern in, I would say reverse or inverted, I don't know. So. Now we're gonna start off with white. So for white. For white, for pink. One white. One pink and one white, four pink, and 
and four white. Okay, so as you can see, it's the same pattern, just for alternating colors. I'm gonna put on my large round bead, and then we're just going to repeat. These are time consuming, but I love the end result. Okay, so now I'm gonna, since I have enough beads on here, I'm gonna go ahead and tuck my string in. And now that's tucked away. Oh, a little piece sticking out. Okay. All right. And then just repeat. Oh, another thing. So with this pattern, I'm going to repeat, okay? So what I try to do is I try to alternate. So this is already alternated, right? So now I want to alternate on this side. So if I have white up top, when I start, I'm going to have pink up top, and then I have white at the bottom. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can just keep it, you know, the same. But for mine, as you can see in my sample, well, that's flipped. This is so loose because it's a sample size, but on my regular ones, they're like this. It's alternated. And so if I keep it tight, it stays. Now it's possible that it flips around. Of course that happens, but I just, there we go. Okay. Like I said, you don't have to do it that way you know, because they can turn, but I try to just alternate, so. Okay, as always, here is my finished product. This is me with it on. Okay. <laughs> and here. Now these are available on my store. Check the link in the description box below. 
I would love for you guys to shop with me. I'll be back with more videos. Hey, before you go, just remember, no matter how simple the pattern, color scheme, or the price point of the products used in this video, I use my own brain to sort through my own personal product inventory to come up with this design. So if you decide to use any of my designs to sell to your customers, just remember that it's my intellectual property, and I only ask that you give me credit, as I'm trying to grow my brand just as you. Take care.